Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to keep my video really short and brief. I'm going to show my products that I use, my wash products and my um, few of my beauty products. It's not going to be makeup related, it's just going to be really hygiene products really. So here goes, I've got some bits and bobs to show you this time. So the shampoo that I love to use and I always keep going back to it every time is the Pantene Pro-V repair and protect. I have used different types of shampoos but I keep ten tendency to keep going to, back to this one. When washing your hair, wash your hair always twice. A hairdresser sh told me that so the first wash actually gets rid of the product in your hair and the build up and the second wash, um, second um, lathering up and rinsing gets rid of the rest of the the dirt and grime that's left in your hair so that's a little tip there um, the conditioner when using the conditioner always make sure that you're putting the conditioner only on the ends of the hair and from here onwards try not to do the roots of your hair otherwise you can get, end up getting greasy and tend to do the last rinse of the hair with tepid to cool water and that closes that closes the hair follicle so it ends up more shiny so that's that the shower cream that I use I always I always 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 go back to this one every single time it's the Sanex one it smells lovely it can be for boys and girls to use um, it's a lovely product um, one thing I love about it is even if you don't moisturize afterwards it tends to give you a lovely shine to the skin so that's that product I have recently purchased this Nivea one I haven't actually used it yet so the smell I just doing a smell comparison just earlier and to be honest I prefer the smell to, of the Sanex. Um, next product deodorant I'll only use this deodorant and that's it I've tried all sorts of deodorants this one tends to give me the best smell and um, best control as well I love this one it's Sanex as well and um, Superdrug boots always have it on offer not always, but every now and then it goes down to a pound, and that's when I buy it. When I buy it, I buy probably five or six, because I know it's a product that I am going to use. Um, the next one is Epsom salt. Now, if you get like tired muscles and achy muscles, the best um, way to relieve them, especially if you've been to the gym, I haven't been in a while, hence the packet's not really used, but is this salt here. It's Epsom salt, and you just um, soak your body in it. Um, when you're having a bath and it really helps relieve aching tired muscles um, so yeah give that one a try for washing my face I tend to I know they say you shouldn't use soap but I always tend to go to soap um, for some reason the reason being I find it gives you a nicer clean on the face I don't always use soap I use a Neutrogena cleanser as well um, but if I use a soap try and buy a better good quality one the one I'm going to try out, I'll let you know how it is, is called Sea Kelp. I bought this from TK Max. It smells lovely. I love the smells that are nice and fresh and not floral smells. I like clean, simple smells. So I'll try this, I'll let you know how it is. Um, next one is Neutrogena. It is a great um, for face washes and things like that. This is the product I use. Ten it's a face scrub that you can use daily and normally what I do is I use the soap first to get rid of the makeup on the face and then I go for this one and I just scrub it, lather it into my face um, and the little granules in there get rid of all the dead skin on your, um, dead skin on your, the surface of your skin and that helps. Um, oils it doesn't matter really what type of oil you use, but if you've got dry ends when you've just blow dried your hair, just a few drops of an oil. This one is Joshua Wood oil, but any oil really. A few drops, lather it up and just put it on the ends of hair and that really helps um, it look less dry and frizzy. Um, frizzy, it's just like frizzies really, so that's that. I love the body butters from the body shop, I've got lots of different ones and I do find them quite thick so especially putting them on your knees and elbows um, and they smell absolutely delicious so yeah give that a go.
few little other products that I'm going to talk about is when you've come out the shower, try not to brush your hair straight away, especially if you go and get a brush and you just brush your hair, you're tearing the hair. The hair is very fragile at that stage. The best thing to do is leave your hair alone. Don't brush it, don't do anything to it for at least half an hour. Then when you are ready, get ready and make sure that the hair is the last thing you do and use a comb. Um, you can use a wide tooth comb, this is the only one that I could find right now. And you just start from the ends and you just brush your hair from the ends like that. So you don't go from the top down because you're ripping the hair. So always go from the ends and then you work your way up slowly. And if the knots are there, that way you're not being so um, tough on your hair and you don't want to break the ends. So that's a tip. But if you want to use a brush, use it later on once you've got all the knots out with a comb. Um, and two more things, actually one more thing I'll quickly mention um, is in your bedroom or place where you spend a lot of time try and keep um, like flowers or you know something green, some greenery like some plant pots. These are actually artificial. Um, I bought this one I think from Debenhams and this one from TK Maxx. They're just lovely and they just make you feel nice. I'm going to get some more um, because it's worth it and that's it thank you very much for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you all again soon bye